Hey everybody, and welcome to part 49 of this Platinum Let's Play. On the last episode, we went through the battle frontier and what can be done there. Uh, on this episode, we're going to be taking on the Elite Four rematches. Um, just off screen, I did change a couple of moves around. Um, I did keep Surf on um, Hopper. The reason being that I ran out of heart scales and I couldn't be bothered to go underground, so I just kept Surf. It's accurate anyway, so it's fine. I kept Solar Beam on Scooby Doo, why not? Um, I taught Gladiator Rock Slide just because, again, I can't really be bothered um, getting myself any heart scales to teach Leaf Blade back. And besides, I have Energy Ball with uh, Spaghetti, so it's fine. Um, now, I probably want to go into Hopper for the start. I have no idea how long this episode is going to be, but hopefully it's not too long. Um, I'm going to save now, just so that uh, I don't have to completely screw around with my game again. But yeah. Okay, so. I mean, the moves of the Pokemon haven't really changed that much, but the levels certainly have. There's one final challenge. So, when you're ready, let's go. Okay, so, here we go, fighting the Elite Four once again. Aaron with blockiness again. But even I'm blocky now. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain, I'm a huge fan of Bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean, and they're and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take challenge on challenges on here? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my Bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. So, this is the fight against Aaron, the Bug-type master. A rematch, anyway. In he swoops, and he leads with a Yan Mega, level 65, Bug Flying type with the ability Speed Boost. With the moves Bug Buzz, Air Slash, U-Turn, and Double Team. Do bear in mind that um, these rematches are not in Diamond and Pearl. They are only in Platinum. Um, try not to let the thing set up too many speed boosts. The double team can get quite frustrating, but having a steel type with an electric or ice type move is quite nice. Or a probe pass, that's even better. Heracross. Okay, well I'm going to have to switch for this thing. Um, let's go to Roadhouse. This is the most dangerous Pokemon in his team. By far, this is Heracross. Level 67, Bug Fighting type with the ability Swarm. With the moves Close Combat, Mega Horn, Stone Edge, and Night Slash. Fantastic coverage on its uh, moves as well. I think it probably has perfect coverage. Um, no, it doesn't. Its moves are resisted by Toxic Croak. So if you have a Toxic Croak, you can use it against that thing. Um, Drapion. Uh, I think I probably want to go back into Hopper for this one. So, onto the star of the show that is again not a bug type. This is Drapion, level 69, Poison Dark type with the ability Battle Armor. With the moves Cross Poison, X Scissor, Aerial Ace, and Ice Fang. As a Citrus Berry. Um, a Steel type does pretty well against nearly all of the Pokemon that isn't Heracross. Um, like a Steel type resists every single move. Empoleon in particular resists every single move, apart from that close combat from Heracross. Otherwise everything else is resisted. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, it's not really worth using um, Aqua Jet because I know that he's going to do that. So obvious. Okay, 
Okay, so that's Drapion. Take that thing down. It's going into Scizor. Obvious candidate for this one. Scooby Doo. So this is Scizor, level 66. Uh, sorry, 65. Uh, Bug Steel Sight with the ability Swarm with the moves Iron Head, X Scissor, Night Slash, and Quick Attack. A fire type move will quickly melt this thing. Particularly special ones, but its, uh, it's physical defense isn't that much better. And I'm going to Vespiquen. Into, whoops. I could go into Hopper, but I'm going to go into Gladiator. So this is Vespiquen, level 66, bug flying type with the ability Pressure. With the moves Attack Order, Defend Order, Heal Order, and Power Gem. A nice rock type move will put this thing in its place. Although Ice and Electric is good too. And Fire. I will now concede defeat, but I think you came to see how great Bug Pokemon can be. I hope you also realise what you're up against in the Pokemon League. Battling is a deep and complex affair. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it, back to training camp. Let's hear it for me! No, that that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. Okay, so I think we'll heal Hopper. I did kind of go all out with Hyper Potions. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, got quite a lot, but hey, <laughs> never be too prepared, so uh, I'm not going to really be using Roadhouse in this battle, but anyway, we want Spaghetti up front, Head to the next room, up the lift, in we go. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. Ha ha ha, I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground-type Pokémon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? Perhaps. So this is the rematch against Bertha, the ground-type master. She leads with a Whiskash, level 66, water ground-type with the ability Oblivious, with the moves Sandstorm, Earth Power, Aqua Tail, and Zen Headbutt. A nice quick grass type move will put this thing in its place. In fact, grass type moves are pretty good against nearly all of the Pokemon on this uh, on this girl's team, with the exception of the Gly score. I'm gonna have to chance living an earthquake for that thing, I think. Here comes Gly score now. Uh, I'm gonna have to think here because what's what's more powerful? Surface 95 power, brought up to about 148. Doubled is 296. Ice beam is 95. Doubled and then doubled again. So ice beam. Okay, so. Oh sorry, uh, Gliscor is level 69, ground flying type with the ability Hypercutter, with the moves Earthquake, oh really? Ice Fang, Fire Fang, and Thunder Fang. Now who the hell do I want to take this thing on with? Um, um, Uh, let's go into Spaghetti, he's probably the only one who can deal with this thing. Let's put it to sleep to start. This Ice Fang shouldn't be doing too much. Yep. Okay, well, that's worry. Oh, well, that's nice. Although, really, it's always best to go second when you're putting something to sleep. Because then you're only wasting one turn and you're not doing much. But oh well. Sleeping for two, awesome. Let's hit it with Energy Ball. The only move that I can practically hit this thing with that is an Ice Beam. Or 
not surf. That was a fairly awful amount of damage. Ugh. She's obviously going to heal, so I'm going to put it back to sleep. Best way to do this. Nice to have priority on spaghetti, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, so she's energy ball again. This Gliscor is always the toughest team member to take out. In my experience, anyway. Just because always my... Well, I nearly always have Empoleon for a start. Nearly all the Pokémon that have a move that's weak to this thing, um, that this thing is weak to, is weak to Thunderfang. So yeah, or Earthquake. Ground Electric has pretty good type coverage against my team usually. Anyway, so the glycecore has gone. Thank God. So we're now going into Golem. So this is Golem, level 68, Rock Ground type with the ability Rockhead. With the moves Earthquake, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Sandstorm. Try not to let this thing set up Sandstorm. Um, also, if the Hippowdon has come out before this thing, this thing will have a slight special defense boost. Don't let that deter you though, because um, it uh, still has fairly low special defense. Now, this is the big star, the Rhyperior, level 71, Ground Rock type with the ability Lightning Rod. With the moves Earthquake, Mega Horn, Avalanche, and Rock Wrecker. Again, be very, very careful with this thing. It is super powerful. It's a shame it doesn't have super power. <laughs> but no, it really is super powerful. But hitting it with a nice special Grass or uh, Water type move is the best way to go. If you don't have that, there's always Ice. Um, there's always. Uh, so an Aura Sphere from Lucario, that does quite well. Um, it is quite slow. But anyway, the final member of her team that she's sending out against me is Hippowdon, level 68, ground type with the ability Sandstream, with the moves Yawn, Stone Edge, Earthquake and Crunch. If you've got Grass Knot, it will do fantastically against this thing. Luckily, uh, unfortunately I do not anymore. But well, it doesn't matter too much. Dear child, don't assume for an instant, instant that you won. I can almost guarantee that I have. I'm gonna need to use a um uh an ether. Get in a bit. No. Uh, let's use Earthquake since I'm faster. Hopefully, it'll take it out. It's non stab and Hippowdon's very physically defensive. But good. Oh, critical hit. Not sure if that mattered. Maybe it did. Cool. Well, dear child, I must say, that was most impressive. Your Pokemon believed in you and did their best to earn you the win. Even though I've lost, I find myself with this silly grin. That rhymed. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earned the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. Ha ha ha, I think you can go as far as you want. Well, I want to get to the end, so... Good. Okay, so let's revive Hopper. Obviously, he's going to be used in the next fight as well. He can be used in, it, in practically any fight, to be honest. His typing is fantastic. So, let's use some hyper potions. Not really going to be using spaghetti in this fight, though. <laughs> Although, if I do use it against any Pokemon, it will probably be the Rapid Ash. I shouldn't have to come to that. Again, 
the main thing you've got to watch out for in this next fight is sorry is the uh, sunny day that is the single most deadly thing you will uh, come across in this fight so who do I want to lead with Roadhouse he's always my best bet for this one so I was waiting for you challenger Flint the master of fast sorry fast type <laughs> fire type is up next Battles are clashes of the burning spirit of Pokemon. Battles aren't about appearances or what's weak or strong. It all comes down to whether the combatants can burn hot or not. Obsession with fire! <laughs> Seriously. Big cheesy grin and let's go. So he leads with a Houndoom level 68 dark fire type with the ability early bird. With the moves flamethrower, sludge bomb, dark pulse and sunny day hit this thing with a good, hard, physical, fighting or ground type move. Water works well too, uh, and I think that's pretty much it. Or rock. Rock. Fighting, rock, ground, water. That's what it's weak to. Okay. Infinite. Obviously going to be faster than me. Um... Yeah, not sure how I want to deal with this thing actually. I'm gonna go into Ricky, but this is a massive risk. So this is Infinite, level 71, fire fighting type, with the ability Blaze, with the moves Flare Blitz. Thank you, God. Uh, Thunder Bump. Sorry, Flare Blitz, Thunder Punch, Muck Punch, and Earthquake. Damn. Flare Blitz is... Oh, it's going to knock itself out. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't think Ricky will survive this, but it will knock itself out. Boom. Bye, Infinite. I couldn't see it using Thunder Punch, so I knew it was going to knock itself out. Okay, so... Th didn't this happen before? I think this happened before. <laughs> And I was like, oh, let's send out Hopper, and then he sent out the Magmortar. Um, let's do it anyway. Okay, Flareon, cool. So this is Flareon, level 71, fire type, with the uh, ability Flash Fire. With the moves Overheat, Giga Impact, Quick Attack, and Willow Wisp. Try and be careful of Willow Wisp. Overheat will hit quite hard. Give it Giga Impact is very difficult to take as well, so. So overheat shouldn't do too much. No, that's a manageable amount. Not sure if he's gonna heal. Apparently he is. I used Aqua Jet anyway, but I wasn't sure. Oh actually no, he hasn't used a full restore yet. <laughs> Oh, whoa, that did a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so obviously going for Magmortar here. Um, who am I sending out against this thing? Um, let's go with Gladiator. I have a Rock-type move to deal with this thing now. Let's see how well we do. So this is Magmortar, the star of his show, level 73, fire type with the ability Flame Body, with the moves Flamethrower, as you're seeing, Thunderbolt, Solar Beam, and Hyper Beam. It has a Citrus Berry. Wow, took that like a pro, Gladiator. Nice one. It probably will live that. Yeah. Let's use another one. So it's just going for solar beam. It's like, screw it. I'm dying anyway. Oh well, just making me take less damage. Thanks. Okay. So, Rapidash. Uh, let's go into... Uh, let's go into Scooby Doo. Let's 
So lastly, we have Rapidash, level 69, Fire Type, with the ability Runaway, with the moves Flare Blitz, Solar Beam, Bounce, and Sunny Day. Just going to set up a nasty plot. Wasn't actually expecting to be faster, <laughs> but uh, oh, okay. Well, that's useful. Can't really see the thing using Flare Blitz against me. I mean, it might do. In fact, it, it would actually hit more than bounce at this point. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, are you kidding me? Um. Uh. Let's just go for Dark Pulse, I guess. Don't paralyze. Thank you. He's gonna heal. I knew that was coming. Scooby Doom is much faster than I thought he was. I was expecting him to be outsped by that rapid ash. Really was. Dark Pulse again. Take it down. Oh yeah, now I get critical hit. Great. I don't believe it. I lost. I didn't take you for granted, but I never expected you to win. I'd never even considered it. I'm blown away by this. You and your Pokemon are hot stuff. Well, I've beaten you before. What do you expect? Phew, burnt right down to cinders. That's true. Did anybody die in that? Oh, Ricky did, yeah. Oh well, don't worry, Ricky. You did a good job because I wanted you to knock out that Infinite, and technically you did. So, uh, all worked out. idea for this next battle, actually. Um, actually. <laughs> no, it's fine, I'll still use it anyway. That wasn't what I was planning to do. Let's go Scooby Doo. Ugh, I remember you. Ah, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lucian. I am a user of the Psychic type. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I'll have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. So, this is the battle against Lucian. The final of the Elite Four. Psychic type master, he leads with a Mr. Mime, level 69, psychic type with the ability Soundproof, with the moves Psychic, Light Screen, Reflect, and Thunderbolt. Nasty plot away. I can obviously see a Light Screen coming, but uh, I just want to get up to plus 6 because I think I can sweep with uh, Houndoom, and frankly, that's what I've always wanted to do with the Houndoom just sweep. Total, total sweep. And frankly, after the last battle I had with this ass, I I want to sweep. <laughs> Would make my day. Because I mean, the the Espeon could possibly outspeed me, but it can't really do much against me. The Alakazam could out could probably outspeed me. Um. It, I'm not sure who's going to come out next, actually. Probably the Gallade? Gallade, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so this is Gallade, level 75, Psychic Fighting type with the ability Steadfast, with the moves Psycho Cut, Drain Punch, Leaf Blade, and Stone Edge as a Citrus Berry. Go for flamethrower. I needed to get up to plus six because I think this thing could probably survive. Out of all the Pokemon to survive a hit, it's going to be this one. Oh my 
God, that did well. So obvious drain punch or stone edge coming. Okay, well, you swept one Pokemon there, Scooby Doo. Oh well, don't worry. Uh, now can, can uh, not Scooby, not Scooby Doo, can Roadhouse? Oh, reflect. Oh, I need to worry about that. Um, let's go to Ricky and try and do as much as I can with Shadow Ball. I thought about reflect because I need to, because um, I was going to go to uh, Roadhouse and use Brave Bird, but then I thought, oh yeah, hang on, that reflects a lot. Frankly, I want him to heal on this thing. I actually want him to heal on this thing. Because this is something I can actually take out fairly easily. The Alakazam? <laughs> Not so much. Uh, let's Brave Bird. I knew he was going to heal. I should take that out in one shot. I don't think it's going to be living that. No. Awesome. Uh, probably the Alakazam's coming out next. Yeah. Now, how the hell do I want to deal with this thing? Um, let's stay in, and I want to go for a U-turn. I don't think I'm going to be outspeeding it. <laughs> right, okay. Let's see how much this does. It might even knock it out. That's a fantastic amount of damage. Hopper's going straight in and up rejecting the rest of that. Perfect. I couldn't have planned that any better. After you destroyed me last time. We're level 71 as well, awesome. Okay, so we have Bronzong next, and I don't have Scooby-Doo. Okay, so how do I want to deal with this thing? Um, uh, whoops, wrong Pokemon. Let's go into Gladiator. have to obviously Swords Dance, but he's probably just going to use Earthquake, or Calm Mind, okay. I don't know why you would do that, but whatever you want. Let's just set up another one, just because I need all the power I can get for this thing. I can definitely live at plus one Psychic. Uh, let's use Close Combat. Be living at plus four close combat. If he does, he's getting up rejected. Uh, no, he didn't. And finally, I have to switch out because <laughs> I can't stay in against this Espion. Uh, we're going back into Hopper. So this is Espeon, the final of his Pokemon, Psychic Type, uh, level 71 Psychic Type, with the ability Synchronize, with the moves Psychic, Quick Attack, Shadow Ball, and Signal Beam. If you have a Steel Type, use it, but if you don't, do not underestimate this thing, it is powerful. Uh, if you have a um, Houndoom, it will do very well against this thing. Signal Beam is not much to worry about. Just nasty plot all over this thing's face. Meh. Not really bothered about the full restore. Just glad I didn't use it against Alakazam, or Alakazam rather. God, I can't 
can't believe how awesomely that Alakazam went. Just you, well, it obviously had to miss that um, focus blast. Which is great. I mean, why did it even use focus blast? I was expecting it just to use psychic. Which is why I wasn't expecting to live. So I can take it out in two hits that time, but I couldn't before. Great. I see. You're getting past the other three was no fluke. Your power is real. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the Champion. I should warn you, the Champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. Okay, so, um, let's heal, obviously. Oh, I don't even know what I'm going to do against this fight, because I don't think I have an X speed. <laughs> I could employ my original strategy of intimidating Garchomp until I can actually just set up against it. Because it's really that, that that's the only thing that I want to outspeed. The Lucario doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, it has Shadow Ball, but I think it still has Shadow Ball, it might not. In fact, it doesn't actually. Um, so that's a little easier to deal with. But even so, of course it's that Toga Kiss that I really want to look out for. And unfortunately the Garchomp's only gotten tougher. Anyway, so... Actually, I'll just do it in the next one. So, on the next episode, the final episode of the Platinum LP, we'll be taking on... Cynthia on the rematch. Until then, see you next time guys.